Whoa! It didn't even say that it was fragile. That's... I was planning on counting the amount of turret shots. That didn't work. Uh... Yeah, I was planning on counting the amount of turret shots that thing would take in, but apparently... It was weaker and more fragile than I thought. I had used it so much. Or maybe that just insta-breaks shields. That also works. Grante! Hey. Do you have a Hylian shield for me? I believe you are supposed to... Hylian shield, there it is. So I, did, I was under the impression that the Hylian shield is a quest when you break when you break the Hylian shield you are awarded a quest to reforge it but no the game doesn't spend any fanfare and doesn't even tell you that you can get another one but sure enough if you go see Grante you can buy one for 3,000 rupees I just decided to show that off because it's it's probably not a, a very well-known fact uh, that is the wrong thing that this is the right thing can I order this? Uh, suddenly I forgot how to do menus. Why? There! It orders it. It's now out of order. Okay, awesome. But yeah, Hylian Shield is back. Although this one is different. Future Pal, if you can go back to a, a screenshot of my, old, of my menu with the old shield, you'll notice that that one has durability up. This one does not. So it's probably going to be a bit more fragile. I mean, you can just buy more, and shields honestly are infinite durability if you know how to shield bash. You can you can totally go through the entire game using a pot lid as your as your shield of choice, but this one is a slightly weaker. The the recreation is not as good as the original. Hey guys and gals. My name is Paladin. Over the past 1 year, 6 months, 18 days, 10 hours, 17 minutes, and 23 seconds, I have been Let's Playing Breath of the Wild. It's been a wild ride. I've learned how to play it from scratch, and now I believe that I'm genuinely good at the game. I have a build that is absolutely broken, and I have skills to back them up. I've 100%ed the game. Or, well, I'm going to do that today. Because I've completed all of the DLC. I've completed the game. I've beaten the story. I've gotten every shrine, every Korok seed, every mission, every quest, every location. And now it's time to do everything in the game. 150 episodes ago, I started this Let's Play just up that hill, right up that hill, at the Shrine of Resurrection. And today, we're prepared to return there and beat the final challenge, the final boss of the game. <sighs> let's, <laughs> before we go any further, let's change the camera sensitivity back to... Is there a very slow? There's a very slow? Wow. <laughs> Still discovering things 150 episodes in. <laughs> but who'd use this very slow? Who'd use that? Very fast is the way to go. All right, so we're jumping down here. In case you're you're curious and you're just joining us, uh, my overpowered build of choice. Also, I'm I'm descending this tower the same way I descended descended it the first time. I could just use the glider, but this this brings back some memories. Don't do that, Link. Fall down. Thank you. My build is called the Ancient Build. Uh, I get this thing called Ancient Proficiency. I'm just going to talk about this on, along the way. Uh, which multiplies all ancient weapons I have by uh, 1.8 damage. And then, or it adds 0.8 uh, additional damage on top of that. Plus, with a potion, because this stacks with a potion, you get an additional 0.5%, so you're dealing 2.3 times damage, which is way better than anything else. If you use a Lynel weapon, yes, you can get a, like, a 120 power, I don't even remember the, or 102 power, um, 
Lionel weapon or one of the Royal Guards weapons, but with the multipliers applied, those don't actually deal more damage. Oh, we're going this way. Uh, there's also... I guess I can't really show the damage. You are deaf. You are... Oh, I almost said deaf as a bat, but bats are not deaf. Nor are most of them blind, I found out. That's a, a strangely known fact. A rarely known fact is that not all bats are blind. In fact, that's kind of a stereotype. That isn't entirely true. If I'm wrong, <laughs> then I'm sorry. So yeah, this this build's really good. Now, if you're with the channel, or if you've you've spent time watching this channel, you know that in the final boss fight, I kind of took it easy on Ganon. Because I, I, I feel bad one-shotting the final boss with a build. Now, granted, I was locked out of using this armor and I could only use the Master Sword. But, are we going? Yeah, we're going this way. Are you? Are you here? Are you a thing? I will nuke you. I will absolutely nuke you. Goodbye. What, what was I saying? Oh yeah, I kind of take it easy on bosses. Is this the right way? That's the right way. Because I, I want to be able to show off everything that the boss is capable of. Showing off all their attacks. That's not what I'm doing today. Today is the final boss fight. It is the final battle, and... I am using all my skills necessary, all the skills, all the tools available to me. I have a 75 power battle axe, which Future Pal, uh, write down what that equates to. It is not 75 power, it's like 2.3, so times 2 is what? Times 2 is 146 plus like 20 or something, so it's like 160. Plus, it deals bonus damage. I am going the complete... No, no, okay, I, I found the path. I wanted to backtrack the way, I, the exact way I'd gone in episode one, and I I think I've achieved that now. The goddess statue's glowing in there. I'm also not using my stamina, because when I first started the game, I did not run that much, because I did not have much stamina. For the record, I would have only been able to run this long. Actually, that would have tired me out. <sighs> Let's stand on this bluff real quick. This is... Actually, that's not the Shrine of Resurrection. Shrine of Re Re Resurrection is right there. This is the bluff we stood on when we began the game. Gracious sakes. It's been a long time. I'm excited to get into new series. That That's... I am so... I have so many mixed feelings right now about beating the game. On one hand, I'm wondering, what am I going to do? Like, I've, I've learned all these techniques. I know how to do this. I know how to do that. And it's, it's going to be so weird. Do, it's going to be so weird going to another Let's Play requiring new skills. Could I have Cryon? I could have Cryonis this. Cool. If I had had Cryonis. <sighs> Man, this is weird. To the brave soul who wishes to master a divine beast, you have done well to return to this place of beginnings. You have overcome many challenges thus far. Now, allow me to bestow upon you one final trial. Return the Sheikah Slate to the terminal, turn terminal you first obtained it from. Do so, and the final passageway will reveal itself. And I guess... I'm not even sure if this is the final episode. I don't know. Because I'm doing this all blind, this entire game- <laughs> There's the final challenge of the game, a Korok. I've never done this before, I don't know what's in store for me. For all I know, I have three more shrines and we're going to be having- We're going to have, uh, like two, ep two episodes left. I don't know. Can I take this? It has fulfilled its duty it slumbers peacefully. Well, it- <laughs> It's actually not, because I- There was a glitch two episodes ago where it- respawned and I almost was able to pick it up let's place this in I don't know maybe we'll lose all of our stuff place the Sheikah slate in the pedestal all right I didn't get a yes or no question to that I'm forced to and why would I skip this why on earth would I skip this Sheikah slate confirmed oh, okay are we going back to sleep maybe descending Please, descending. Please beware of tremors. Now, we do know that there is some sort of monk 
uh, what is his name, Makushia or something like that. We got that spoiled when we completed the compendium by buying all of the pictures. That spoiled some sort of, I assume, boss fight in this. So we know that's expected. But beyond that, I have no clue. This is all blind. You guys have done a great job of not spoiling the game. Oh boy. I've pra I practiced for about an hour before this began. I went through... What is happening? What is happening? Oh, we're still going down. Oh. That was a window that we totally missed. I don't have my blessings available to me. I just tried to use uh, Rivali's Gale to fly up. Welcome, hero. You have overcome many trials to reach me. Now is the time to face the final trial. Oh. Okay. This trial is a complex labyrinth. To start, you will need a map. Oh, man. It's a dungeon. It's a actual dungeon. You may obtain map information from the guided stone. This looks like it's a bigger scale than the divine beast, which means this probably isn't the last episode. Oh. Yes! Let's switch over to a trashy weapon since I'm not doing the final boss fight right now. We have lava. How big is this? Oh, we don't have a map. Oh, I guess, actually, wait. He just told us that we need a map. So there's a dude there. Hello. Uh, not gonna equip my best stuff right now. Let's... Kill him, apparently. Okay. Giant ancient core, please? I do need one. No, nope, just a gear. A gear, or a... <laughs> Actually, neither one of those were a gear. I <laughs> I was completely wrong. The game likes to mess with me. So we're trying to find the Guidance Stone, and I did not pay attention to where it was. Hmm. You know what this place reminds me of? This reminds me of the... Is that an updraft? No. Ha! <laughs> Play this game for 150 episodes, people. I know how to do this. <laughs> this reminds me of the ancient section. Oh, it's right there. The ancient sections in Skyward Sword, the factory where the guardians were presumably made. I know there's been some lore that's refuted that, but I think it makes sense. Let's place it in here and get our map. Can we move this dungeon? And is this a, a divine beast? This might be a divine beast. Oh, this is! <gasps> this totally is! It's a fifth! I knew it! I actually knew it! Episodes ago, when we were in Hyrule, uh, Hyrule Castle, I mentioned how there were five giant pillars, and Zelda had mentioned how those pertain to the Divine Beasts, and yet... Oh! There were five pillars! And I said, you know, there might be a fifth! And I was totally right! What is this one called? Does it say? It doesn't say. What is this thing? Is it a is it a mole? Now, okay, how do we control this? We only have two we have two different options. What is what are we doing? We started some gears moving. I'm not exactly sure what that started. Does it just... Oh, it just alternates the direction. So, these were not moving before. Now they are permanently moving. Alright, that should be fairly simple. There are not a lot of moving parts. I remember the the most difficult Divine Beast was definitely uh, the Gerudo one. Va Nuburus? Yeah, Va, Va Nuburus. Because... Alright, we can catch a, a lift here. It was ever so difficult. Actually, there's another lift there. And in fact, that one doesn't... Uh, that one does take us to something, I guess. But that's another place we can go. Let's try that first. Let's do this in order. This also reminds me of... In fact, all the Divine Beasts have reminded me of this. Both Stone Tower from Majora's Mask, and also... Uh, what's it called? What's it's called? Uh, the... The... Clock... Uh, the, the Clockworks from Mario 64. Uh, let's jump through that. 
more candelabras of death. Yeah, it looks like this was a wise decision to take first. And in fact, we might want to ride that up. Does having a vertical advantage give us anything? No. All right, so the comments are going to <laughs> going to yell at me otherwise. But we are in this hot area, meaning, and there are fire, fire geysers, meaning we need to equip our fire gear. Now we are fireproof, and we cannot be burnt. We can still fall in the lava. We're not lava proof. We can't swim in lava as much as I'd love for the set bonus to be that. In fact, having a vertical advantage would have gotten us over this on second thought. Nothing metallic is around. I'm just waiting for my thing to sail here. Oh, this is going the Oh! Reverse. Aha! I was wondering, how are we going to get across this? So we can just walk through the, that fire, that w w a seemingly wall of fire. We have the, the tools to jaunter through it. Jaunter? Saunter? Saunter. Oh. Oh, this is so cool. It's like a survivor challenge. I love those things. The Rube Goldberg machines are sweet, by the way. Okay, can we stasis? We can stasis it. That's useful. And it looks like... Oh, there's a chest. How do we get there? Uh, I know how we get there, but we need to go backwards, believe it or not. Uh, okay, let's see if we can make this. All right, we're going to stand in this, and we should be able to fly over there. And I'm not really backtracking because I can fly from there over to where we were. I'm not taking two steps back. I'm, I'm taking two steps forward, or two steps backwards, and then two steps forward. So we're not losing progress by doing this. I need to keep on the lookout for chests. Does that have... Interesting, that has, like, model numbers and stuff in Sheikah. I, you can, there are keys online for you to read Sheikah. They did write things in natural language. It's not gibberish. Cobble Crusher makes me feel like I, we need one. Do I have anything useless? I don't have any useless weapons. That's the thing, I farmed up these up so well. I'm going to leave the Cobble Crusher there. If we need it, we need it. We'll go back and get it. But, I don't think we need it right now. Alright, so... Let's reverse this. And then let's reverse it again. And stasis and hit the thing. Does that shoot it? Oh, I see. I see what we did wrong. I see exactly what we did wrong. It needs to go into that end. Perfect. All right. So now we need to reverse this. Make it go through there. And ultimately, ultimately, what is our goal? Because it's not going to dump out onto this thing. Fly! And now let's reverse it again. Certainly it's not going to... Maybe it is close enough. I don't think it is. Oh, it is. It is. It's just an optical illusion. The thing's so big, it's hard to tell. Uh, we need to have stasis at the ready, we, because we can stasis the ball, and I'm probably going to need to do that. In fact, we can make this really cool. Let's... Alright, that, that flies down in there. We reverse the direction. And it looks like we won't need to stasis the ball. Uh... Yeah, we don't need to stasis the ball. We're, the ball is, the ball is fine. The ball is smart. And by that I mean the ball is not smart, I mean we are smart. Place it in the track. Fly down, and that should open our, our thing. So this is a Divine Beast. And being a Divine Beast, if you'll remember, it has been quite a long time since we've done any of these. We need to go to all of these different, what, are the, what does the game actually call them? Uh, all these different markers. Shika Slate, Authenticated. Act deactivating. Oh, it's a lock. Oh. oh. Oh, I see what's happening. Oh, this is this is Wind Waker. This is Wind Waker. This was the Elden room, and now there will be a Lineru room. Uh, let's reverse. Okie doke. Now we'll take this, and we're going to have to be careful because... Oh boy. Run up. Run up. Run up. Perfect. 
reverse. How much can we... We can stasis everything? That's nice. That's pretty useful. Now, unlike most of these, you you don't you can't miss a train. You can't say, "Oh, I, I missed I missed my chance to do this," because you can just reverse everything. You can just reverse time. All right, so we're on this giant shaft. What are you? Are you a, a hard dude? You're a scout too. Really, Bruh, I faced scout two so long ago. Watch this. Shoot at me. Come on. Come on. You know you want to. Buddy. Hello? Hello? Alright, uh, maybe I, maybe I missed it there. But you know what? I'm good at this. Perfect. Bloop. That is not gonna kill him. I'm not getting anywhere fast. Let's just... Do this. Goodbye. Uh, let's switch over to... The build. Come on. What are, you, what are you planning on doing with the weapon back there? What are you planning on doing with that? that that's not efficient. Buddy. <sighs> Goodbye. You're bad. You're a faulty model. Hopefully... Hopefully his uh, warranty did not expire. So we're up here now. That is metal. What does it do? That's not expected. What does this do? Whoa, 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 whoa. We just took that out. All right. Uh, we have this now. We have a metal chest over there. Everything here is metal. I'm wondering how much can we interact with the, the that gear? Can we reverse it? Can we can we break the divine beast by jamming it? What's in here? Any any cool reward? Bomb arrows? Okay, okay. It's not hot enough that these explode, right? Yeah, okay. So what does interacting with that do? I need to know. That's that's important. Whoa! A lot of things that are not expected here. This is complex. Uh, I might have to do a timer for this episode. Goodness. Did not expect it. This is not the final episode. Alright, is there a hole in that? There is a hole in that. That's what I thought. Because this slots in. Perfect. Alright. Now. Man, we're actually building machine. This stops it? Did that just jam everything? Oh, no, no, no. It turns it. It turns it. Now, what does that do? This is getting to be quite the complex machine. And it is still reminding me of Skyward Sword, believe it or not. Right, no, nothing metal to interact here. This thing is a mystery. Oh, I know exactly what this does. I know what... Okay, we're, we're jumping the gun. This unlocks the door once it's completely unlocked. You spin it open. So we need to not be here. We need to be on another challenge. Okay, I understand now. Yeah, we need to be... Oh, we need to unjam that. Um... Bunch of little dudes down there. Wait, these guys are new. These guys are not here before. Uh, let's just... Do not need that. That is excessive force. Kill you, kill you, kill you, and you're dead too. Oh, you're not. Hello. Ugh. Come on. That that particular timing is a bit difficult. It, it doesn't share the timings of normal guardian lasers. You have to ti you have to shield bash a little bit late. Normally, you just shield bash when you see the projectile come out. And did I? Ugh. I need to re I need to backtrack. Uh, give me a moment. But those guys, you shield bash after you see the projectile already coming out. So, we're back where we were. There is a ladder down there to get back. There's this chainy platform, which is odd. There's a door there, but we need to get this thing moving. And we can't interact with it, but we can get up there. Maybe we could get up there. Let's... Oh, that's a thing. You see that? Oh, I know exactly what that's for. We need to fly down there. 
And that thing slots into the door. I think. So we need to reverse it. And get that thing in the door. Perfect. Now that's in the door, we can progress through. Careful not to get crushed. This thing is feels faster than the others. Uh, now this is the Lineru room, I believe. Let that carry us up there. The Lineru room works with electricity a lot. There are a lot of circuits that need to be completed. This platform does something. That extends. Oh, we need to fit those together? Yeah, we need to fit those together, so let's reverse it. I keep forgetting that I can just reverse it. I don't have to wait for my train to come back along. In fact, uh, let's... Uh, okay. Oh, that doesn't line up, though. That doesn't line up. That pulls out? Yeah, that pulls out. We need to extend this. Extend. Now it fits in. And now, let's... Let's drop this. That's a lot of weight falling down. Grab it. And let's do this a little bit closer to home. And I see how... Wait a minute. Oh. That's kind of awkward. Oh, it's not meant to fit in. Right? Yeah, that doesn't fit in. What it's meant to do... Is... Is... Not stop this whole thing from turning? Come on, fit in. It's meant to get everything turning. Just watch. Exactly. Exactly what I thought. And this, oh, this is a giant puzzle. Wait, no, it's not. I was gonna say we need to turn it like a, a tumbler lock, but that doesn't work. Oh, well, we did it. I was thinking that we need to fit three pieces together like in Vanaburis, but that's not quite it. That's not quite it. What we needed to do was just connect things, connect the dots, and, and we're done. It was as simple as moving one thing downward. That one was pretty easy. I'm glad it wasn't to the same uh, level of complexity as as uh, Naburus. Now, there is a chest in here, and before we... There it is. There it is. I was going to say, before we end off the episode, I'd like to get that chest. Let's reverse directions... Yeah, there's a chest in each one, it, it would seem. At least one. I don't think we've seen multiple chests, so I'm going to continue acting as though there's only one. Unless there's one up there. Grudo Scimitar. Inventory's full. There could be one up there. No, we were already there. All right, there's... There's nothing beyond what I think, and... It actually looks like this... This entire challenge is a little bit more difficult than I gave it credit for. And I just accidentally solved it? Is that the case? Or not? Yeah, this was a little bit more complicated than I thought, but... I stumbled across the solution, and we're done. Alright, that is going to be it for part one. Uh, I, I'm not even sure if I'll do outros for these. Because this these are all going to be part of a multi-part finale. Ah! Hi! Hi! What's up? What is up? What was that? That was weird. Startle me, man! Whew. Come on. Yeah, I'm not sure- these are all gonna be part of a multi-part finale because I- I promised that this would be the final episode. And I feel like this is fitting. This is fitting to have... the final challenge. Why am I flubbing this? Is it because I'm talking? I normally don't flub this. There. I could just run up and hit him, but this is more satisfying. Plus, I can even do it with my eyes closed. Yeah, that was with, that was completely with my eyes closed. I cannot see right now. I think I'm next to it. All right, next to it. Cool. So this is going to be part of a multi-part finale, as I've been saying, as I've been trying to say, which means that next next part we're going to be probably finishing out this dungeon and the game. If, if we did half of it this episode, we're probably going to be doing the next half of it next episode. Thank you so much for watching. Join us next time, and I'll see you guys then. Let's shield bash that. Badly damaged, that's okay. Where is he? 
throw that. Perfect hit. Uh, let's switch over to the best. I think this is the best possible battle axe in the entirety of the